Yes. Scrambling to piece together equipment for her upcoming show wasn't part of the plan for musician Jocelyn Pettit. It had all my valuable and highly specialized music equipment, um, custom dance shoes, everything I need for my livelihood, really. Last Sunday, Pettit was flying home from Glasgow via Toronto. But when she got to Vancouver International Airport, her suitcase was nowhere to be found. I got to the carousel as soon as I could and was watching the luggage chute for my bag and uh, I waited for 40 minutes and it didn't show up. Air Canada staff told her they suspect her bag was stolen. She says Richmond RCMP reviewed surveillance footage that confirmed just that. They saw the suspect coming up to the baggage carousel, taking two bags and leaving. And the suspect was coming from the non-passenger direction. Police told CBC News that they suspect the man stole the bag and fled on the SkyTrain. This is the security concern. Anyone can just walk into the domestic section here at YVR without having a ticket or going through security and then just make their way into the baggage claim area. And once they're here, they can go hang out at the baggage carousel and have access to any suitcase they want. YVR has put up these signs and put up swinging gates at some, but not all, access points. And it's not the first time this has happened. In 2017, a 46-year-old man was arrested in connection with a spree of stolen luggage at YVR using the very same tactics. The RCMP says it's putting more plain clothed and uniformed officers at YVR to fight luggage theft. I'm just shocked nothing has been done. More than anything, I just want this to not happen to other people. YVR says it has multiple layers of security protocol in place and is always looking for ways to improve. But the security measures aren't good enough for Pettit, who's left fighting to get compensation and gearing up to perform with borrowed equipment. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.